Hello, this is just a quick tutorial about how to create drag and drop items on Google Web Designer. First of all, we create a new file. We name it draggable elements here. All the other options are not necessary here. So we create a simple square here. I color it red and I give it a name. Call it, just for simplicity, draggable item. So, and now actually everything is done by events. We need three events. One is for the event itself. I need a mouse down event. And I create a customized function. And I call it drag stars. You will later have drag move and drag stop. And first of all, I create a global variable gwd.tracker, which is this element where I'm clicking on it. And then I try, I give a function. So the problem is with Google Web Designer, if you ask for uh, top and left, uh, you need computed style. And as this is not working with any browser, we need this switch with this special function here. So I call it gwd.s and then I ask for a window if does it exist, get computed style. Then let's go for get computer style and if not, let's go for this current style. But this is just a help function. Not necessary to know, but a good helper here. So now I need the distance between my mouse pointer and the top left position of my square here. So event.clientx, this is where I've clicked, this is the mouse pointer. And I calculate the distance between now, this is our function here, gw.s for style, from left position. So I have um, the mouse position and the left. And then I do the same with top and the y coordinate of the mouse position. So this is now for having the distance, the delta between both coordinates. I need this later because now we create a function mouse move. We don't want to move on the item, that's why we go for the page here because sometimes the user is moving too fast and then is leaving the item, the, the element that you should drag and then it doesn't work anymore. So for drag move, this is just another three lines of code. First of all, I need to ask if uh, GWD dragger is set, which we have done in the first uh, function. And then I go for GWD actions events set in line style. Actually what I'm doing here is I'm just um, adding the top and left position to my square with the delta of my current mouse position. So I have the left position and here is my mouse position, event.clientx. This is my current one. And I just uh, add the delta of uh, the, the distance between both coordinates uh, in my first function. And then I'm doing exactly the same with left, with the top position with event.clientx minus gwd.delta y. Just changing, not forgetting the px pixel yeah, behind. And then uh, this is already done. So, and then uh, finally, also for the page, I need a drag stop, which is I'm doing with mouse up function. When the users, of course, you can also do this with touch later, but with mouse up, I'm just showing here to keep it short. So gwd.drag stop and everything I'm doing here is just setting the, f uh, the flag gwd dragger to null so that as long as I'm moving in the mouse move position, drag move, that it won't move. So I just forget, just checking here left uh, needs this. Okay, good. Now it should work. Let's check in a browser. It's my item and I can move it. Mouse down, moving. Great. And this is how to solve it. If you need another item, just create a new one and assign it with the same function.